this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, in the greater Portland metro area. And today I'm going to show you a 2006 Fleetwood Pacero 37C. Uh, this is a used motorhome. It was taken in trade. 99% of the used motorhomes that we have here at B. Young RV, which we have an awful lot of them, are trades. Uh, that way we do know the history of them. We know the customer brought them in. And as a sales consultant for B. Young RV, I am responsible for my trades, so I go through them thoroughly. Anyway, the Pacero is the top of the line for Fleetwood in their gas models. Uh, the, it comes with just about everything. There's very few options available uh, with the Pacero. The Pacero has the look and the feel of a diesel. The high brow on, uh, front brow on this. Uh, is like the American tradition in the diesel line. So I love the uh, Fleetwood Pacero. I used to sell an awful lot of them. Uh, there's a driver's door here, and you have nice clean steps to get in here uh, with the sandpaper uh, type finish on it. So if I got a pair of thongs on, I'm not going to uh, cut my feet up. Uh, this particular uh, Pacero is on a 24,000 pound workhorse chassis. Uh, it will have the five-speed Allison transmission in it and 8.1 liter Vortex. In 2006, this was the number one chassis that was out there, was a workhorse chassis because it was 24,000 pounds. Uh, and we have approximately 2,700 pounds of net cargo carrying capacity on this motorhome, which is a, a huge amount because for humans, the water and the gas and the propane are already calculated in that, so that's net cargo carrying capacity. It's outstanding. 22 5 inch tires, like I say, the look and feel of a diesel pusher. You'll notice that this is uh, two pieces in here. Uh, instead of one front, it's two pieces, so if you ever had anything happen up here, you would uh, be able to just get the one repaired. Uh, the windshields on a uh, Fleetwood product is mounted up here in the frame, much like an automotive. So when we're on uh, rough roads and that, uh, we have flexibility. We're less apt to have problems with our windshields with a Fleetwood product. All right, this particular Pacero is full body paint. Nicely done, smooth in here. We have a weather pro awning on here that you can uh, set the uh, wind speeds on from inside. Again, the Vortex engine. Uh, this is on the power platform which is uh, Fleetwood's uh, platform where they use two corrugated I-beams on top of the, uh, the chassis and uh, they're huck riveted uh, to the chassis and then the flooring inside the coach is huck riveted and so your freshwater tank, your gray water and black tank sit between the corrugated I-beams giving you a lower center of gravity in the Fleetwood product line. And we have a slide topper up here on both up here and over in the back on the bedroom. Uh, you'll notice that the awning is also a covered awning so the sun's not gonna take its damage on it. Now this is a triple slide model on the 37C. You notice some nice big storage areas. And these doors are vacuum bonded. Nice power step, nice and low to be able to get up in here. The other thing that a Fleetwood has is your house batteries are inside under this step here, uh, which is real positive, especially this time of year, that the batteries aren't exposed to the outside elements. All right, let's take a tour of this 37C Pacero, top of the line for Fleetwood. This is luxurious. Like I say, there weren't any, very few options that you could get with the uh, Fleetwood uh, Pace Arrow. We have flex steel chairs up front here. Driver gets an electric, six way electric. You have the big 22 inch wheel up here. This is a workhorse chassis, so you'd get that. Uh, we have a uh, power window. Power front visor. You have a remote control mirrors on the outside with heat or heater in them. 
Again, this is going to be a five-speed Allison. And uh, on the workhorse chassis, this is a 24,000 pound. If you want to know that it really has a uh, uh, Allison transmission, it'll say Allison on the bottom of the pan. But this is a W series chassis, 24,000. Now, the other thing is Fleetwood uses an air conditioning system that I don't believe anybody else uses is the Denso uh, air conditioning system. It is not workhorses, it's not Fords, it is Denso. And uh, I believe it puts out approximately 15,900 BTUs of AC up here in the front cabin, which under normal conditions give you enough to keep this whole cabin when the slides are in going down the road in case you had passengers. So you have very good comfort in the uh, when it's hot out there. You do have a DVD player and a VCR combination. You have the switch box up here, flat TV. Another nice thing is we do have a vinyl roof in the Fleetwood, and I was talking about these being vacuum bonded. This is a solid roof. Uh, I love them. You can walk up there and do a dance up on the roof, which I have done in 37 degree weather. But I love Fleetwood. TV antenna, of course. Again, we have flex steel chairs. Even this rocker recliner is flex steel. This is a movable chair. It's probably, you know, it's not clamped down, but there is a clamp to hold it in transit. But I do know that uh, these are about $1,200 uh, chairs that Fleetwood put in these. Of course, you got dual pane windows, standard equipment with a Fleetwood Pace Arrow. So these are all great windows in here. You have a Corian countertop in here. Nice big deep stainless steel sinks. I don't think I've ever seen anything bigger. Nice big window here in the kitchen to look out. What a positive deal. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there's no heat ducts in the floor. Your heat ducts will come from cabinets, from the walls. So if I have a dog, a cat, or I had uh, somebody who wasn't very, you know, spill things in the kitchen, I'm not going to have it going in the floor ducts. This floor is vacuum bonded. And again, this floor is about this thick, and it's huck riveted to another uh, box, a steel box, that then sits on top of the Paco beams which are on top of the rail. So this, you have steel down and aluminum up. Now the Pace Arrow course has a, look at those. This is a two burner Amana seal burner top. This is luxurious. This, you find these in high end diesel pushers. If I were to spill something here, it doesn't go to lower pan like you would in another type of motor home. Leave those. those are nice Corian counter. Uh, big convection microwave. And of course we've got the big nomadic 12 cubic foot refrigerator with ice maker. The other thing Dometic has is these usually are pretty well frost free because of the development of uh, what they do to them. Uh, we don't have problems with frost in these. And you can set the temperature with it. Of course, the tech, uh, if you were to buy this, the tech will take you through this. Again, at B. Young RV, we get a lot of used motorhomes on trade. And like I say, 99% of them are trade-ins. We don't go out there and buy uh, RVs normally. You got some slide out here and the uh, little extra in the pantry. Of course, that's a speaker up there. You do have a surround sound in here. The speakers will be hidden. They won't be hanging from the walls. They'll be in strategic uh, areas covered up. I do like this little extra here in the kitchen, this fold up. If you want to be parked for a while, I can have a little china cabinet. Pretty nice. Now, this uh, nice solid wood table, this isn't, uh, you know, particle board or anything like that. You can make this into a bed. You'll notice you got the nice ultra leather. Ultra leather is a man made material that breathes when it's hot. You can wash it with 409. There's actually a formula if somebody happened to have a ballpoint pin, you could remove that. And the positive is, you know, this is 2006. They can go like this with it, it'll go back to your original, it doesn't crack and it looks good when it's cleaned up. We do have a hide-a-bed in here. 
Again, that's flex steel. There are seat belts there. Oh, we got all the books for it. That's another positive thing. Fleetwood gives a huge partial, actually a briefcase. We have all the books for this. All right, we do have day and night shades to it, and they're accented with the trim here. They're silver and light silver. You got the night and the day. Screwed and glued cabinets, and Fleetwood cabinets are very deep. I can actually put a dinner plate up in here. Now, they don't put cabinets over the uh, dinette, which is positive, so when tall, you know, I can stand underneath here, I'm not gonna hit my head. And going to the dinette, you see you got real wood here. Another big deal is these huge drawers are under here. Now, I can set the drawer not to come out so far. They have canned goods in there, but it'll handle putting all your canned goods down in there. And again, this is a luxurious uh, motor home, so they don't like to put a lot of things, uh, operational things out in the open. And of course, the control panel is behind the door here. Uh, this does have the uh, 50 amp uh, smart EMS. And what it'll do is when you set this, if you're on the generator, it'll be top. If you're in a 30 amp circuit, you would set it to 30, 20, or 50. And what it'll do is regulate your power for you. It won't, it'll manage your power. It can't make power, but what it does is when you're in a park somewhere and you only got 30 amp service, you turn on both ACs and got a hair dryer, it's not gonna blow the circuit breaker. It's just not gonna allow certain things to run. So uh, 50 amp service is great. And of course you got your uh, two forward control slide outs here. And again, I can, uh, if I wanna pull one in, I can just do it with the engine runner, which I love. All right, you got this nice hallway to break it up from the living room. You don't see your bed from the uh, living room if you got people. And uh, we can go into this big bathroom in here. It is a giant bathroom. Uh, you'll have a China Bowl toilet with a sprayer on it, a bidet. You got an extremely uh, large shower. Um, in here, remember you got uh, 80 inch ceilings in here and you have nice chrome accented hand controls in the shower and i do believe uh, this particular if i wanted to put a washer dryer in here i could right about there lots of room in here to be able to put your towels face cloths cosmetics and it has a real door on the bathroom Again, we have a slide out control up here uh, for the back bedroom. Easy to get to, I don't have to look for it. We'll come to the back here. We do have a window, we have a torque window. That might have been the only upgrade that you would have. So you can get some cross ventilation. And it's also your emergency window. We do have a TV up here, slightly slanted so that you can see it from the bedroom. Roller bearing guides. Fleet was one of the first to use roller bearing guides. Nice pull out drawers. Little vanity here. You can have a little folding chair for there. Cabinet space down here. Again, roller bearing guides here. Big closet. You even got more shelving back in the far corner here, which you'll get to see. The bed. Now this should be, yes, Fleetwood. They put a very expensive, the super uh, responded uh, a pillow top mattress. Um, they've always put really nice mattresses in their modern. This is a full queen mattress, 60 by 80. You'll notice here, we got little shelves here. You have plug-ins at both sides in case you need them. And there's a little shelf here to put glasses. There's a magazine rack down here. Now the other thing I like about Fleetwood, there's no window here. So if I want to lean up against here, I'm not leaning up against a cold window. We do have side windows in here, and uh, these will have just uh, it has day and night in here also, so you can have some light in it during. You got four air conditioning ducts in here. You know, this has two ACs on it. Both of them are in the Ford cabin. You'll have a sensor in here, which is on the wall over here. That you can set the temperature in here for one temperature. You can set the living room for one temperature uh, using the uh, the management system, and uh, you have a heat pump in the Ford 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioner with a heat pump in the Ford cabin. So, what's the positive of having both ACs in the Ford cabin is 
I'm a light sleeper. I'm not listening to the air conditioner in here when it's super hot. Again, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. And I welcome you to come out here and look at our used motorhomes that we have. We have lots of diesels and gas rigs. Uh, this Pace Arrow 37C is one of the nicest coaches and one of the greatest coaches to drive as a gas rig. So I welcome you to come here at any time. And we're open seven days a week. Thank you.